You guys, our next guests are very funny comedians, actors, and writers. New episodes of their podcast, Poog, are released every Tuesday. Please welcome to the show Kate Berlant and Jacqueline Novak. How are you? Hi, Seth. We are, we are blessed and honored to be on the show. I am so happy oh. to have you both here. I am, of course, gutted that it's not in person. Uh, Jacqueline, you've been, this is your fourth time here. Uh, Kate, this is your first time. Thank you. And what a delight to have you both here together. It's truly a dream. I want to say the majesty does transfer. I still feel the power yes. of the couch. Thank you. I don't, I don't feel like I'm getting that feedback enough. Uh, guys, tell us about, uh, tell us about Poog. This, is it safe to say this is a, am I saying it right, Poog? You've got it. You absolutely are. You've gotten it dead on, Seth, um, as to be expected. Uh, yes, this is our podcast. This is Poog. Um, uh, the name was Kate, Kate's idea. I'm not afraid to admit it. Hey, hey, we share everything on this podcast, okay? But yes, it was initially formulated in a tweet um, that I tweeted, I'd say, the late 70s. And, yeah, uh, so many of our, of our best work comes from 70s tweets when it really comes down to it. And is this a, <laughs> is it safe to say this is a parody of Goop, the, uh, the wellness site Goop? It is absolutely not a parody, Seth. We are fans of Goop as we are fans of, you know, anything that's offering... Uh, you know, recommendations for products, anything in the wellness world we're into. We are hounds for it. We are yeah. consumers, hogs. We are, um, w yeah, we are believers. No, we're, we're eternal optimists. We think, you know, the wellness industry, some people see it as maybe a terrifying symptom of late capitalism. Uh, we see it as an opportunity to just kind of try different serums, right? Yeah. And so for us, it really is hobby. It is sport. Wellness is traditionally sort of a feminized uh, topic, right? So it's deemed not worthy. Um, but for us, we want to lift it up and really just an excuse to talk to each other. No, and I apologize, Kate, for interrupting, uh, but but I should let the viewers know we are deeply interested in interruption as a form of rapport. Uh, we yes. celebrate interruption. Uh, we, you know, if we let you get a word in, Seth, that, that will be, you know, exciting. Um, <laughs> And, and we do plan to do that, but, but we want to give you the vibes. We want to give you the vibes of Poog, indeed. Now, one of the things I do want to say is, uh, is some people, uh, some influencers, uh, to use uh, the term of the day, uh, get these products sent to them, these wellness products, so that they can try yeah. them and then uh, sort of spread the gospel. Is that something you guys do? Do you like when you are sent uh, free items? Yes. <laughs> In a Absolutely. Word. And I want to be clear, you know, wellness involves almost any product, right? So, um, you know, I don't want anyone out there with a product that they could send to hesitate thinking it's not wellness. You know, anything can be wellness, whether it's a tonic, a potion or a window dressing, you know, open. We are accepting gifts now. Yes, I know. I mean, there's kind of people tend to through social media kind of be embarrassed to ask for things or it's considered gauche. We started this podcast primarily to openly beg for free products. So we are in no way trying to cover that up. There's a naked desire for free stuff. And this podcast just allows me at least to finally give in to that desire. Uh, are there sort of different branches of, uh, of the wellness world uh, that each of you is more focused on than the other? I think we have our areas of interest, Kate. Um, oh, sure. I lean towards some of the esoteric, metaphysical. I've spoken about ghosts on the show before, orbs, et cetera. Um, you know, NDEs, OBEs, um, those are... I don't even know what that is. Outer yeah. body experiences, near-death experiences. Oh, it, sure, it, sure. These sorts of things, uh, metaphysical, you know, kind of modalities of healing, et cetera. Kate, where, where would you say you lean? I'd say I'm more firmly rooted in the poetics of dairy, right? Trying yes. to avoid it. Do I avoid it? Is the issue dairy or is it something more familial, right? Is it more emotional? Usually it's more emotional, but does dairy inflame that, so to speak? Uh, Grain-free pasta. You know, I want to say, though, we at Poog, we don't, uh, we really are pleasure based, we're pleasure focused, we're hedonists. For example, to mention dairy again, I for years thought, oh, I can't be eating dairy, it's breaking me out. But then I repurposed cheddar as a vitamin for myself. I told myself when I was eating cheddar, this is bringing me pleasure, so it has to be good for me. Guess what? Haven't had a breakout since eating dairy since. No, if you eat with joy, if you eat with joy, the placebo effect cannot be denied. Oh, yes. um, if you imbue cheddar with that sort of meaning, then to eat it as a ritual act and. Yes. And no, that, that's huge for us. Kate and I are, you know, lipospheric vitamin C in the morning, martinis in the evening. Um, pasta is a church of sort for us. Um, yes. 
there are several brands who uh, haven't, you know, I've been talking about certain kombucha brands that I like, certain grain-free tortilla brands that have yet to reach out despite my numerous DMs. And so that actually sounds threatening. There actually is an anger. I don't want to lead with anger. I just want to say that the DMs are open and, and I have a P.O. box ready to go. You guys, um, I, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, I do want to, uh, we have some photos of at least one product you've tried, and I, I'm fascinated by what it claims to do. We'll be right back uh, with more from Kate Berlant and Jacqueline Novak. <laughs> 